On basketball, actually, with uh, Kobe Bryant, we're going to just touch on that. Like, and you being a basketballer as, as a kid as well, what was it like working with someone oh, like that? That was amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that was amazing. So, um, yeah, like he was in town for th- in Melbourne for thirty six hours. Um, so my job was uh, again, I was working. I was working for his agent, uh, American agent. Um, I helped broker the deal for him with the Australian promoter, and uh, yeah, he's only in town for thirty six hours. Um, so. Yeah, you know, literally got off the plane, um, uh, you know, met him at the hotel, immaculately dressed. Uh, he, my, my job was to, to do the deal, but then also he's fastidious about everything. And, and again, if, you, if you've read anything about Kobe Bryant, you, you understand. So he, you know, he, would, he wanted to know he'd only come out to purple and yellow lights for the Lakers or golds because he's the best. He, um, wow. he wanted to know we had um, uh, Hamish McLaughlin was a host, actually. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to know everything about Hamish. I don't mean yeah. like... Um, you know, what, what is he up to his level? He wanted to know, um, you know, who, who we'd interviewed in the past, what the questions were going to be, why he's asking that question after that question. He wanted to know what the walkout music was going to be. He wanted to know what the vision packages were. Like, I mean, absolutely micro level detail on everything. And this is just one, for, again, for Kobe, who travels the world, like this was just one, you know, one show yeah, um, that he's probably done a thousand times before. But um, anyway, the, 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 probably the best, the best story, oh, I've got a few, but I, I could go, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the short one. So the best one I can probably tell you is, again, like you, we're away at the moment, you kind of normally pack a um, pair of jeans, maybe a jacket, uh, a <laughs> couple of two shirts, you know, some underwear, and, and that, if you're away for two days, that's what I thought I'd be. So the first, um, first meeting I had with Kobe was to brief him on this show. So we'd, we'd email, I emailed everything through to his, his representatives, but um, now it was time to kind of sit down with him in his, um, in his suite and, and talk him through the show. Now, normally, you know, when you do this with an athlete, they're kind of dressed in tracksuit pants. Most of the time they're on their phone or baseball caps on. And, you know, and again, without meeting Kobe, you kind of, and that, that, I guess the NBA, that's the kind of image you, you know, you expect these kind of guys that walk in and it's all about, not, I mean, it's just not all about them and, you know. Swagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah swagger, swagger, exactly, that. exactly. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So, so Kobe walked in. And this is just a meeting. Just keep in mind, it's just a, this is just a briefing. Walked in in a, the most beautiful suit I've ever seen in my life. Tie, po- polished black shoes. He had the, I think, you know, poly, like his hair, like immaculate. 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 I was like, oh my word. Sat down, asked me, you know, how am I going? Looked at, asked me my, my family and my kids and an amazing conversation, right? I'll, I'll tell you something really cool in a minute. I'll show you when we get off here. Just say, I'll show it to you as well. Anyway, so... Um, you know, went through the show and it was all great. And then I, I wore obviously the one jacket and the one shirt and the one pair of shoes that I had. And this wasn't the show, you know, this was only the, the briefing. So <laughs> we did, it was, I was only with him for probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes, went through it all and then and go back the next day to do the actual show. Um, I walked out, I was like, oh man, I've got to go and buy a new wardrobe. Like, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see this guy. Oh, sure. Yeah, but it was crazy. I, yeah, like he... Um, I can't. I thought you were going to say he bought you a whole wardrobe. <laughs> no, no, so uh, this is nuts though. This is, this is nuts, right? I'll tell you the one... Have we, we got time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah this is a, time. This yeah, is a really yeah, good story. So, so again, like we sent everything, you know, he's in Melbourne for that short period of time. So it was kind of, what do you want to do? And again, most athletes will play golf or love Australian wines. So they go to a winery. So... Um, we put all these on the list and then I just like randomly put like a great white shark dive and I didn't even know, like just thought, you know, there's no way he's going to do this. Anyway, get off the plane. He's like, he's um, kind of assistant ran up to me. She goes, Kobe really wants to do the great white shark dive. I was like, what? No. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. So. Um, Wish I hadn't put that on last. Yeah. <laughs> the last no, I was, but I, I don't know why. I just thought you could just go off like Port Phillip Bay and. Yeah. And it, yeah. Yeah. Does his insurance cover that? Yeah. <laughs> well, that so anyway, so I Googled it. I was like, okay, good news. They do it. Oh, sorry, bad news. There's only two places in the world that you can dive with a great white shark. One is in South Africa. And the other one's South Australia. Exactly. Yeah, off yeah. Port Lincoln. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, great. So I had a good contact at the South Australian Tourism Commission. So I rang well her. Done. And I was like, hey, you're not going to believe it. Like, this is all secret, like very secret squirrel stuff. But um, Kobe Bryant's in town. He, um, he, he has a show tomorrow in Melbourne at 12. So we need to be back by probably 11. Eight. Oh, sorry. He had a meet and greet. It must have been two o'clock. So we need to be back by 12. Um, the following, we need to be back at 12 that day. Um, is there any way we could get Kobe, you know, to dive with the Great White Sharks? And she's like, oh my God, let me make a couple of calls. So brings you back an hour later. She says, yeah, we can do it. She, he's got to be up at two in the morning. He's got to, so we had, a, we had a chopper, he flew yeah. on a private jet. Yeah. At two in the morning, you got to get on the jet, uh, the chopper from Melbourne to uh, Port Lincoln. Once you get to Port Lincoln, it's an hour and a half boat. 
out to where you, where you dive with the great white sharks. When you, get the, where, when you get to where you dive, it's another 40-minute orientation. Then you can dive mm. down for like half an hour, come back up. And I'm like, there's no way the world is going to want to do this. Like, you know, he's, he's only in town for 36 hours. He's got to do, um, you know, he's got to do the show that I'm day. I'm shaking my head now. Nah. 36 hours. Yeah, sure enough, yeah. No, no. Lock, lock it in. So 2 a.m., right? So, t- so we have to leave at 2 a.m. He's going to do the Great White Show an hour and a half there, so get there by 4 or 5, 4.35. No. Get on the boat, out, 6 a.m., do the dive, 8, 8 a.m., back, get there, back in Melbourne by 12. Fuck, okay. Well, it's gravity, <laughs> right? Anyway, about one... one You're stressing me out. Like, I'm really getting <laughs> to really bad anxiety. Get anxiety but go on, go on. Yeah. So one in the morning, one in the morning, I get a call, Ooh. and um, it's the, the bloke on the boat. Um, and, you know, again, this guy's like a... He's a tuna fisherman, I think. <laughs> I know, you know, and he's like, oh, mate, i got some bad news. I said, what's that? He says, the wind's come up. It's no good. He goes, if you can, yeah. stay, if you can stay another 12 hours, then we'll be able to go. I was like, oh, well, Kobe's due to fly. He was flying out stra- that night, straight after the show, he's on his jet back to LA. Um, if you can stay, if he can come out similar time, like three, four in the morning the next day, so just push his fly back 12 hours, we can do it, and you can fly back from Adelaide. So I said, oh, let me, um, you know, he's going to be pissed off, like he's probably already up. So I, you know, rang his um, manager, and she said, oh, that's okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do, you know. So anyway, he said, um, I said, oh, does he want to stay the 12 hours? And, and uh, his manager said, no, no, he wants to get back and... Um, Coach his daughter's basketball team. Oh wow! Which in yeah, yeah it's yeah, yeah. heartbreaking, oh, un- unbelievable. Yeah, heartbreaking. So sharks climbing the harbour. Yeah. Uh, anything yeah. else? No, it's <laughs> bungee jumping. Did anyone say to you I want to go bungee jumping? Yeah, no, not no. yet. In the end, his daughter was yeah with him. Awful, yeah. And that wasn't directly. No, up, no, 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 no. This was probably that happened probably three or four months later. But but what happened? Um, after that is I got a uh, when that it was a tragic accident. I actually got a video um of, of that that. Remember I told you about the session that I had where I briefed him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, I didn't realise they were filming. And I actually got a video of him and I, which I'll show you after wow. this. Um, which was only, what, three or four months before he actually yeah. was in that, that yeah, yeah. accident and died with his daughter. Wow, yeah. man. Yeah. What so a you can, story. You can, uh, yeah, I'll show you when we get off. But, uh, what an yeah. insane story. Yeah, yeah. No, the fact crazy. he wanted to go and do that in a 36-hour window with yeah. these people, <laughs> I'd just go, no way, man. I'm sleeping in. Yeah. But oh, obviously, but you're a good manager of stress because, like, as Ray attested <laughs> to them with the anxiety, he's like, yeah, you've, you must be constantly thinking, this, I can't <laughs> fuck this up. This yeah. Fuck up. <laughs> it, if that's... Your story is very similar to us trying to get here to Vegas <laughs> from the time we left. No, you got oh, no hilarious. idea. We're going to do a podcast on just about the trip. About yeah. oh, it's, it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, very similar. You know, except Kobe's not here. Anyway. 